Hi guys, so in this video I want to have a look at the 6 new trinkets which includes a new legendary trinket that are coming to WoW when the new raid opens. I'd say so far in Legion that all of the trinkets, at least in my opinion, have been a little underwhelming. So maybe with the introduction of these new trinkets, people's opinions may change. So all of these trinkets will drop from the final boss called Argus the Unmaker in the new raid and Taurus the Burning Throne. Please note, this information is taken from the PTR as of right now, so things like the item level of the trinkets and the amount of damage, healing or survivability that these trinkets give you may change in some way shape or form, depending on the raid difficulty that you do when they become live. It seems that the legendary trinket that drops can also be equipped along with whatever other two legendaries you are using, as it doesn't count towards your maximum legendary count. This will be very beneficial as it won't then mess with whatever your two best legendary setup is that you are currently using. However it does mean you can only wear one of these new trinkets, whether it be the legendary one or one of the others. These new trinkets have two uses. They have an equip benefit, meaning when you equip the item you gain certain benefits or abilities that will randomly proc by you simply wearing it. I'm not sure how often the trinket will proc, but I'd say it would be quite often. They also have a secondary ability or usage, which activates when you become empowered by the Pantheon. The Pantheon Empowered ability now seems to activate when any four buffs are activated at the same time from any of the trinkets, which means only four people need to have a trinket of any type. This means you could possibly use this Empowered ability in dungeons as well as raids. Whether or not Blizzard disable this effect for Mythic Plus dungeons may be something they think about. I'm guessing or hoping that these trinkets might be a guaranteed drop for your class as a reward for killing the last boss. But as of right now, I really don't know how this part of the trinket operates. So let's now have a quick look at the trinkets. There are timestamps in the description box below if you wish to jump to the relevant trinket for your class. Starting with the tanking trinket. This is called Agrimar's Conviction. And when you take damage you have a chance to increase your versatility by X amount for 14 seconds. When empowered by the Pantheon, you gain Agrimar's Fortitude, which increases your maximum health by 1.6 million for 15 seconds, and you are also healed to full health. Please note the amount of versatility and health you gain may depend on your gear level, hence the reason I've used the word X amount when talking about these trinkets, as the amount could well change. This to me is not really a very exciting trinket for me as a tank, as again it's just another random proc chance of versatility which we kind of also get from our Concordance Artifact trait. Will it be worth using this trinket? Well, yeah, probably, as I'm guessing the ability will proc pretty often, so it will be beneficial. But it would be nice instead if we got some form of controllable extra on-demand mitigation, i.e. something we could use when it's actually needed. Do any of the other tanks out there agree with me? Do you think this is an okay but not great trinket? Out of all of the trinkets, this to me seems to be the worst of the bunch. So moving on to the healing trinket, this is called Eonar's Compassion. Your healing effects have a chance to grow an emerald blossom nearby, which heals a random injured ally for X amount of health every 2 seconds. This lasts for 12 seconds. When empowered by the Pantheon, your next 4 direct healing spells grant the target a shield that prevents X amount of damage for 30 seconds. So I'm no healer, but this to me sounds like a really good trinket. The fact that you're no doubt going to be passively healing injured party members for a decent amount of health whilst casting your spells as normal seems like a win-win situation for me, and this will be of great benefit to your party or raid members. Any healers out there please let me know what you think of this trinket. Does it sound as good to you as it does to me, or do you think it could be made better in some way? Moving on to the agility DPS trinket, which is called Golganath's Vitality. Your damaging abilities have a chance to create a ravaging storm at your target's location, inflicting X amount of nature damage to all enemies within 6 yards over 6 seconds. When empowered by the Pantheon, your auto attacks cause an explosion of lightning, dealing X amount of nature damage to all enemies within 8 yards of the target. This lasts for 15 seconds. Again to me this seems like a pretty good trinket and will no doubt do really well, especially in AoE situations. Imagine using something like this on a boss like Mistress Sazine or Hajartan. When all of those adds spawn, it will be a great amount of extra DPS on those adds. So moving on to the strength DPS trinket, which is called Kazgoroth's Courage. 
Your damaging attacks have a chance to make your weapon glow hot with the fire of Kazgoroth's forge, causing your auto attacks to do X amount of additional fire damage for 12 seconds. When empowered by the Pantheon, your critical strike, haste, mastery or versatility is increased by X amount for 15 seconds. It will always empower your highest stat. So far, all of the DPS trinkets seem to be just a passive damage increase which I don't actually mind so much when it comes to DPS, as who doesn't want to do more damage? But I sometimes think it would be nice to get a spell or an attack that you could use when you actually wanted to use it, but on a less regular basis. However, I am sure these trinkets will be procking quite often, so overall it's going to be a nice DPS increase for you and your raid. The next trinket seems to be a caster trinket, and it's called Norganon's Prowess. Your damaging spells have a chance to increase your intellect by X amount for 12 seconds. When empowered by the Pantheon, you gain 6 charges of Norganon's command for 15 seconds. Your damaging spells expend a charge to inflict an additional X amount of damage to the target from a random school of magic. So by simply increasing your intellect by a certain amount for 12 seconds, then this is going to increase your spell damage by a decent amount in that period of time. If this ability procs often and can be lined up with your cooldowns, your damage is going to go up quite a bit. So once again, like all of the DPS trinkets, this seems a pretty good one. The last trinket is the legendary trinket, called a Manthal's Vision. And this is most likely going to be the trinket that every single class will want, as it's basically a legendary stat stick, which gives you an extra 1430 crit, haste, versatility and mastery. Also when equipped, your spells and abilities have a chance to grant you X amount of speed, avoidance and leech for 12 seconds. When empowered by the Pantheon, your primary stat is increased by X amount for 15 seconds. This to me, as of right now, seems like a pretty awesome trinket, purely because of the huge increase to the baseline stats. It's just a more epic version of the Arcane or Crystal that drops from with the gym. This will be beneficial to most, if not all, classes, as the additional bonus of having speed, avoidance and leech occur is also very nice. So no doubt this is going to be very sought after. Now finally just a quick note to see all of these trinkets are also upgradable to item level 1000 to be on par with the new legendary trinket and other legendaries that drop in legion. You upgrade them by using the pantheon's blessing which is also a drop from the final boss and as of right now it will upgrade your trinket by 5 item levels until you reach the max item level of 1000. This seems to work in a similar way to the legendary ring that we had in Warlords of Draenor, as you could also upgrade the legendary ring by obtaining a crystallized fell, which dropped from Archimond, the final boss in Hellfire Citadel. Anyway guys, I hope you found this somewhat interesting, please share your thoughts in the comments section below, but for now, thanks for watching, please comment, like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.